is this? A Lungbocker. I captured it many years ago. For Odin? Yes. I thought it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked? That it did. Huh. There's such a big bay. There's no fish. Must be because of the smoke from those mining rigs. This creature, you enslaved it. Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time, with nothing to occupy your mind but pain. If you could... Huh. Creatures heard it, but we're going to free it. But it will always be chained. You know that as well as I. Now for the other thing. There may be a way to reach it behind that collapsed debris. with me, aren't you, brother? I remember the feeling of a yoke around my neck. I would not wish it upon another. Good thing you learned the runes, brother. Hey! 
Why you slave the creature? Its fat was a good source of oil. For Odin's lanterns. Oil? For lanterns? Whatever anger you're feeling. Whatever loathing toward me. It's nothing to what I've said to myself. I know. Just the tail left now. Look out! Red snake! The nest was hiding some sort of device. There's a dock down there, but it looks like it's blocked. Does that surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made? No.
I thought, I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now. But apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No. Not when we can save it. Good. We can reach the tail from this dock. You would still save this broken creature? I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving? I don't understand. Let us continue. Down that rope should take us where we need to go. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face-to-face, -face, Bubba? Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with that yet. <laughs> this creature, the mining rigs, they're mistakes, Mimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's not an excuse, little one. But thank you for saying it.
I'm your great blubbering beast. Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But no. No, we can face this. We just need to chase it off. Scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. It likes the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. That's not enough. It seldom is. Back to Thor and Odin's stories? Where were we? Okay. Enough. We will continue later. There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke? Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Aesir in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. Bet we could swing across that, uh, lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. Quite right. Gotta be the right spot. <clears throat> Those battles. I smell food. <clears throat> Bet a spot from your blades would cause quite a boom. Around here, if you found a high enough place to drop from.
surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. The Ein Hayar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Can you have convinced them not to? Aye. Impressive. That should help. I think we can reach it there. Yeah, that looks right. Oh. 
Oh. You okay, Mimir? To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. Yeah. survived because of you. Ah, you're not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Svartalfheim. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. Okay. What other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? There was Groa, of course. The Knowledge Keeper and Prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. Ah, but enough of that for now. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deeds with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't. I don't get it. The doors weren't chained up like the Loombacher. Couldn't they quit? And do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouth. Oh, that's clever. And awful. Still see to Moosbohan. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. You didn't have fun? Hmm. Well, anyway. We should look for the other half of the seed. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. Now we can make it across.
Call so meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No. But it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Svartalfheim slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. <clears throat> the air smells a lot cleaner. It's because we shut down the rigs. The fish are coming back. Oh, so they are. We going to Durland's? Hope he'll be happy we fixed those rakes. This is the safety office? Well, the sign a hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. 